Meanwhile, the FDA is speeding up the timeline to give Pfizer's COVID-19 full approval. It could happen by early September, and if it does, it could spark vaccination mandates across the country. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King is going in-depth on the approval process and tells us why this could provide more comfort for those who are still hesitant about being vaccinated. Pfizer received the emergency use authorization back in December, and as part of the full approval process, the company continues to follow the trial participants in order to evaluate the safety of the vaccine and monitor the antibody response. Almost any uh, approval process would uh, entail three phases. Three phases the Pfizer vaccine has already undergone, and while the process was sped up a little. You still have phase one, two, and three, but now, instead of taking a long pause in between one and two, they have shortened that pause and they're evaluating the data along the way. The amount of trial participants was much larger at more than 43,000. Typically, you probably would have nowhere um, close to the number of people who have been in any clinical trial uh, for a normal approval process. Now the FDA is going through the process of granting full approval for Pfizer's vaccine. Do you have enough supply chain and materials to continue to manufacture things? Have you done things to prevent infection and other contaminants from getting into whatever you're administering to people? It's a process that goes above and beyond how the vaccine impacts the person who receives it. But many people are still awaiting that full approval to feel comfortable getting it. I think sometimes when I describe exactly what they're waiting for, it's it's a little surprising that it's not it's not like additional people in the study or things like that. I said, you know, they're just following the same people and making sure that everything's okay. And it's going to take a lot more people getting it in order to achieve herd immunity. The science has been saying the same thing all along. You're safest if you if you can be vaccinated to be vaccinated. USF's Dr. Kevin Sneed emphasizes that the mRNA technology has been studied for decades. A lot of people don't know, but um, Moderna had a very effective Zika vaccine. It was 97% effective, but they never got beyond phase three because Zika went away. And he says getting the vaccine will prevent long hauler COVID-19 symptoms like brain fog, cardiac damage, and organ damage. For me, it's not just, you know, either you live or you die. It really is about maintaining your quality of life. Full FDA approval of the vaccine will likely result in vaccine mandates coming from places like the Department of Defense, additional health care systems, and colleges and universities. Reporting in Tampa, McKenna King, ABC Action News.